Are you having fun back there? What's up? I heard that there is airplane stuff going on here. So the whole the whole autopilot kit came in this little tiny box here. Yeah, that's. It's, it's the servos. Yeah, contain two servos. Yep. Aileron and roll. Right. And then what? Contain uh, just pitch and roll, pitch a pitch and roll. Yep. And it just contained one bag of. One bag there. Uh, this bag of hardware, as you see it, mm -hmm. and then. Some uh, rivets, and, rivets and stuff, yeah, and the, the uh, connections and the uh, kill switch. Oh, the autopilot disconnect switch, disconnect, yeah, 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 okay. In, we have to drill them out an inch and a quarter in with a number three uh, drill bit mm -hmm. and then tap it with a 14 by 28 one inch in. And what is this thing called here? This is the 37 degree flaring holding tool. I'm basically just using it so it doesn't, instead of pipe or uh, I mean pliers or a vise where you can crush the tube, this holds it nice, doesn't scar up the tube, and I can drill it and then tap it. I see. And that's set so you can only drill down a certain amount. Right, an inch and a quarter. Nice. And that's this inch and a quarter right here. Yep, the depth of the drilling. Depth of the drilling. And now... And one inch on the threads. Right. Yeah. So I measured my tap. That's number three. Drill number three, tap quarter inch. By 28. So right about there so i've been just going to like four threads just a hair short of right full. okay so on the first one i made the mistake of tapping it without lube on the tap and it uh screwed up the pipe you could see it bent it a little from i guess the heat mm. the girlfriend says the same thing lube's important yes <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it's my 14 by 28 tap This is a square drive socket, which just makes it, you know, tapping a little bit easier and faster. Prepare to fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. No, 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 go past this, past this part.
No, 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 go past this, past this part. In fact, never play this again. It was just an old car seat. Yeah, this was out of a van, a Chevy van. Huh. Major hiccup here. We're looking on the plans, and the plans show that the roll servo mounts to this bracket here. It looks like it's one, two, three, four pieces of metal, and it just gets bolted into the the rib there. And it turns out that this is an early kit. You can see back there, but there is no bracket for the autopilot servo. One week later. I called up Vans. Um, uh, the woman I spoke to at the parts department sent me over to uh, um, the, tech, the technical help center. And Eric looked it up for me and he said, yes, it's the same one. Uh, you know, for post-construction, pre-construction, but it's the D-180. It says D-180 only for some reason, but it's good for the dine on mm -hmm. which is what I have here. And the XCX also. It's a bit longer. Section five has instructions on how to deal with this type of terminal and pin. connectors. Yep. Number one is, it? yep. All right, so number one is this one here, and it is the green wire. And let's just verify, measure, was it measure uh, twice and cut once? Is that the old expression? And it's going in the proper, the proper way. So it's going in through the back, through the back, which is this side, side here. All right, let's make sure before yeah. we... All right, numbers are different right position, we'll go onto the back of the connector. So, insert the wires from each autopilot into the... As shown in figure one, numbers are identified the wire positions, I'll mold it on the back. So it makes sense because I believe there's our male-female connection. Mm -hmm. So, yep, yeah. so that's number one. Are you having fun back there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe is drilling out the existing five rivets on each side here. Pretty easy, but you're just in awkward, awkward positions. All right, Joe is putting in these brackets here, and now he's vacuuming up the debris in the back from all of his drilling. And then we'll be putting this servo in. Per the instructions, you want to mount this servo with the forwardmost two screws first. I don't know exactly why the instructions call for that, but they do call it out in the diagrams here, right here. Install forward two bolts first. So be sure you do that. That looks good. 
washers are correct. Uh -huh. And we just realized that when we put these rod ends on the servo arms, we did not use these special zinc washers here. And that's basically so if the, this silver metal piece inside here disintegrates, there you go, that silver metal piece inside there disintegrates or pops out or whatever, you don't want this whole arm just to, to fall off because the head of this bolt here can actually pass through this if that silver piece was, uh, was not there or if it became loose. So this washer here is just a little bit bigger than the hole of this rod end. So we need to put these washers on and they go on basically two on here and two up front with the, uh, the pitch servo. Bullseye. Okay, so I'll get you the, um, the nut for the back of that. Yep. Come back over here. Grab this nut. Uh, one of those like inside star washers. Take this over to him. There you go, Mr. Joe. Yes, sir. We got our lock washer. We got our nut. And lock washer first. Nut following it. I think it's two hip. I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta read that. Rack. Purple. Just a couple of zip ties holding the existing wires up. I have to cut those loose. Without cutting the wires? Without cutting the wires, that's very important. Need some zip ties? Yep. That should do it. We'll just cut the excess off. Make sure you leave sharp edges. AMPs love that. Mm -hmm. Autopilot disconnect is installed. We'll verify that's two amps and we'll stick something in there. Or we just use tin foil. But it's Autopilot system. free, yeah, that's what it says. Let me make sure this is dying on. Another three amp fuse for that. It's one of those purple Ooh. ones. There it's, uh, okay. We got it? Yeah, I got it. There we go. Now we got and these are those, those special ones that light up if they If the fuse blow. blows, it will illuminate, which uh, in the daylight, I don't think many people are going to be able to see, but in dusk or in nighttime conditions, it would be hmm. readily easy to see. Okay. But, uh... So our issue here is that we need a 90 degree angle on our drill. I can drill both number 30 and number 12 holes. And the entire assembly, the 90 degree assembly, has to be able to fit in between those two ribs. 
and that's our current challenge right now. Uh, our 90 degree Our 90 degree tool here, um, I believe it would work fine, except we don't have a number 12 bit for this. Now we have a number 30 drill bit mounted in that chuck and we're turning it by hand, uh, expanding those 1 8 holes that we drilled. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Expanding the 1 8 holes to uh, number 30 holes. So it's just a little tiny bit of material. Uh, so just taking a second with this with this bit. So by far, if, if you guys are uh, thinking about doing this autopilot, uh, you know, adding this on after the fact, hopefully you have these brackets pre-installed. So we've disconnected the red wire. There's already a speed connector there. Uh, Joe has this power filter and the two connectors from the power filter just go sort of in line with both of these. Contact. Looks like we're all done with this servo here. Some zip ties going on there. So they have you check to see if there's an over center condition on that servo arm. And if that servo arm were to go back, keep going further back, and basically become in line with this control rod, It would jam. then it might jam and it might prevent the stick from uh, moving at all. So we're nowhere near Either way, an over center condition here. Perfect. Has them all, right? Yep, both servos. Now let's go back and uh, Pitch up, roll left. Well found this time. Down. Okay. Nice. That's it. It's uh, calibrated. Roll, pitch, installed and installed. Is there anything under that test option there? Do we need to do anything there? No. I think that was part of the calibration, oh. wasn't it? Okay. It's this, we'll see. Back. So your first real flight, how was it? It was good, it was good. I'm uh, experimenting with the autopilot, it was working fine. I was tracking, I was uh, following the nav. I gotta get used to it, I gotta learn it better. Mm -hmm. um, deciding whether to switch between expert or simplified mode. Expert mode does a lot more, but there's a lot more to know. Uh -huh. Um, more options while you're flying on the screen or yeah it's this the expert mode is more for ifr pilots oh okay but it has a lot of good features mm -hmm. it's just a matter of <clears throat> knowing which ones to use when to use them mm -hmm. and the simplified mode i really didn't play with too much today i'll probably try that the next time but it, it holds uh heading and altitude fine and yeah um it was uh altitude was a little troubling you know a little trouble a little up and down yeah just a little up bit. and down yeah. not terrible um on course was fine. Uh huh. Uh, I flew. Was, I flew out to the east, just on a heading. Then I hit uh, the nav to come back here. It turned me. It brought me back. Then I hit the nav to go to Lakewood. Turned me. Took me there. Yep. And then back again. It's a little unsettling at first, you know, 
Having it control the stick having for it you. Control the stick. Yes. Yeah. yes. I'm like I'm constantly trying to grab it. Uh huh. Yep. But uh, I, I found cool. that the first couple of flights with my autopilot, I was I was just guarding the stick. Yeah. With my dear life. Yeah. And uh, finally, I learned to trust it. You know, it was doing the right things. Yeah. So, so I, I got to get more familiar with it to get to to, you know, to earn more trust in it. Uh huh. But uh, so far, so good. Good job. Good job. Well guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed watching me and Joe install the Dynon Autopilot in his RV12 out here in Old Bridge, New Jersey. And the next video might be something with my plane. So if this is the type of content that you enjoy, give that subscribe button a little tappy tap action down there. Don't smash it because you'll break your phone. And uh, see you here. <laughs>